claim that there is an error code coming out from the lithium battery. It's a defective blade in there. I'm going to use the Dr. Priest app. The number seven is defected. As you can see, all the other has a very uniform voltage. All right, folks, I have the uh, Prius V uh, right here in my garage. So uh, this is going to be a diagnostic or troubleshoot video to find out what exactly went wrong with the Elysium blade. All right, so let's get it started. Prius V is very straightforward. Couple of panels. And of course, orange service plug. Unplug it for safety. And remove this panel. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter. On the passenger side, there's a 10 millimeter bolt. Gonna want to hook all the connector. And as you can see, there are some 12 millimeter bolts holding the battery to the chassis. You're gonna need a long extension to reach out to the 12 millimeter over here. That'll make your job much easier. And of course, open the junction box. Now it's time to take out your voltmeter. Zero volt. Yep, it's good. You can see to touch it. Now it's time to remove the battery from the car. Now let's take the battery apart. I know what the problem is. You know, for the first batch of the battery the hole let me let me just turn this around uh. the hole for the temperature sensor is too small so i asked the uh, repair shop to drill the hole over here so that you can fit in the uh, the temperature probe however i think they drill too deep they actually drill into the uh, the battery cell so i can smell it yeah the cell has been punctured on the number seven. That's why it's causing the failure. Darn it. All right, folks, so we have it pry open. Actually, I take out the screw, pry the top cover open. And as you can see here, let me, let me try to focus. There's a big puncture over here to the cell and this cell is actually swell. All right, folks, so we found out the problem with the number seven blades with a puncture and it's not fixable. So we're gonna replace it with another brand new blade over here. Um, and for this Prius V, I know this 
battery blade has been there for only a couple of months so it's technically new that's why I can replace it with a brand new blade without any question um, however if you are dealing with a multi years old lithium pack uh, be sure to check out my other video on how to do the uh, true capacity of the lithium pack you need to find out the true capacity of the old pack in order to put in a equivalent old uh, lithium blade so that uh, they can equalize the voltage to equalize the capacity and don't run into error code or anything like that Okay, before we put this pack back into the car, there's a very important thing to do is to equalize the voltage. To do that, uh, we actually sell an equalizer uh, where you can parallel connect all the blade together using the, uh, using the equalizer. Uh, we are still perfecting the, the final design, so it's not for sale yet. But uh, you will see uh, this is an idea that we are pushing to our. So uh, let's uh, take a look at how I I'll make it happen. And as soon as I connect it, the blade will be parallelly connected together. So double check everything is good. Positive, negative, positive, negative. Okay. So let's connect them one by one. Sixteen point five to sixteen point five one, as you can see. No, you cannot see. Five zero and five one is in between, so it's equalizing already. It's equalizing the voltage to be exactly the same, probably somewhere between fifty and fifty one. All right. Usually, if the battery is very bad, you want to let it sit for twenty four hours, equal like for twenty four hours. There's one way that you can accelerate the process by using the RC charger. Uh, I'm going to show you next. All right, as you can see, I have all the blade connected to the uh, equalizer. They are all in parallel right now. However, don't forget that you have a special blade here. It's not connected on the other side until you put in the service plug. So simply put in the uh, service plug carefully Right now they are all parallel connected, so the voltage is not so big. However, they ha do have a lot of current, so still be careful, okay? Um, so if you want to uh, speed up the uh, equalizing process, what you can do is connect the, uh, the end of it, the connector, to a RC charger, all right? So what you want to do is exercise the battery, exercise them so that they can equalize faster and to exercise them basically the first thing to do is to drop the voltage discharging all the way to 15 volt and once you are done charging back up to 16.5 volt by doing so you will exercise the battery so they will equalize much faster than simply just connecting them in parallel make sense
before you connect all the copper box bar, bar back into the uh, the pack, make sure you disarm the service plug. Okay. Now we can go ahead. All the wiring is in there, uh, most of the bolts are in, that's put in the uh, service plug. So what you want to do, push in, turn 90 degree, and you have to clip in. That's the last step. And finally connect the 12 volt battery back. Right, so this is the next day. I warm up the car and actually try to deplete the battery to state of charge at 42%. Basically doing the exact same thing as yesterday. We're trying to drain the battery and see the delta voltage over here. And see it's at 42%, the delta V is only at 0 0.08 voltage. That means perfect. 0.06. Remember yesterday it was almost over 1.2 causing the error code and all that. So now the issue has been fixed. And then the voltage, there's no differences between number seven and others. So they are all equalized now. And that's the way to properly fix a battery. Not only for lithium, but also for nickel metal hydride battery. The last thing you want is some kind of delta voltage. And then every time you sit in there for 10 minutes, you're gonna run into error code. So here we go. Hope you like the content and follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Check out our website, projectleasing.com. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you at the next one. And here you have it, folks. Take a look at the puncture over here. This is what causing the, uh, the pouch to swell and premature failure.